Hello everyone, this is John. Welcome back to another food review. Today's going to be another fast food review. And this is more like a fast casual place than really a fast food place. Uh, if you're familiar and been watching me for a while, you'll know that once upon a time, me and a few members of my family did a taste test where we determined the best Italian beef of the chains in the Chicago area. We did Al's beef. We did Portillo's. We did Buona. And Buona, through a blind taste test, came out on top as the best Italian beef sandwich from the chains in the Chicagoland area. So today I'm back at Buona to try something new. Uh, another thing I like to do sometimes on this channel is try vegetarian or vegan things that are placements. I've done Impossible Burgers sliders, um, other uh, vegan and vegetarian items. Buona had just come out with their vegan beef. And that's what I have in front of me. This is the vegan Italian beef. As you can see, it is wet. And it has whole olives falling out of it. That's from the uh, hot Giardinarian peppers. So the meat itself, that's what it looks like, is actually made of Satan. So this sandwich you could say is satanic. It has a slight squeaky texture. <coughs> the spices on it are nice though. It is uh, dipped in a vegan uh, juice, au jus, that uh, has no meat in it. I think I'm getting like drippy juices all over my desk here. Let's go ahead and taste it in the sandwich itself. This is 100% vegan. The, the, the fake meat the bread, jardinarian peppers, nothing in here is animal-based product. Here we go. Of course, that means also there's no cheese on this. Somebody fucked with it. For being such a messy sandwich, they didn't provide me with any napkins, so I had to grab some paper towels. So much juice and oil. So, would this sandwich have won that contest? No. This sandwich is, is not going to be a blow your socks off really good Italian beef sandwich. But it's not bad. There's just some beefiness in the flavor that it lacks. But uh, if you're vegan or vegetarian, this is a great option if you're desiring an Italian beef sandwich. It has the the same shape and consistency, a little bit squeakier on the teeth than a regular beef would be. But all the when it's dipped in the spices, you get all the spice, the juice, the wetness. Everything in here, besides that little beefy flavor, is there. The bread is still amazing and soft. I think they still use Verano uh, bakery uh, rolls. I'll take another bite of this. If you're unfamiliar with Satan, it is a it's a 
wheat based product they take like flour and they basically wash flour until all the starch is gone and all that's left is the gluten the protein from the flour and that forms into like a rough ball it's pretty doughy when you look at it but um, you can form it bake it slice it and it will look uh, very similar to a meat product and this one if you look at it, it kind of looks like gyro meat or gyro meat but uh, the jardinerian and stuff in here peppers cauliflower carrots olives it's all spicy added flavor stuff and when you put it all together on a sandwich you really are going to be able to give yourself a very close representation of an Italian beef sandwich and I feel like if you're vegan or vegetarian that this is going to satisfy um, all those needs and you're not going to be oh this isn't beefy enough for me this is the kind of sandwich that is I think really for the vegans and the vegetarians whereas an impossible whopper I don't think was necessarily uh, though that was part of the market I think the impossible meat is more trying to replace meat for meat eaters whereas this sandwich I think is trying to replace Italian beef for vegans and vegetarians specifically and I think it does a good job of that would I order this again? probably not I'm going to go to Bologna. I'm not a vegan or a vegetarian. I'm going to eat the beef, Italian beef. But this is an excellent option for those who don't eat beef. And if you still eat cheese, you can you can add that to it. Um, <coughs> I'm not sure if the red sauce is vegan or vegetarian, but you can add that as well. Uh, but as it is, it's very good for that purpose. And for that reason, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 because I think it really does a good job of being the Italian beef for vegans and vegetarians to try. I don't know any other place that does it. Um, I suppose you can try to make it at your, your own home, but if you don't know how to make a really good au jus, especially one that doesn't have any meat product in it, then you're probably not going to make one as good as this one. Anyway, that's the end of this review. The Bologna Beef, in quotes this time, vegan Italian beef sandwich, 8 out of 10. Like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next video. Until then, so long. Bye.